Welcome to another Demarcation Media Dusted Off video. Mega figures have one very big flaw. And I hear people complaining about this all the time. Some for good reasons, some for less good reasons. But the hands, those little clip claw hands that are very similar to Legos, aren't quite the same. Lego has a very um, flexible plastic for theirs. Megas tends to be more rigid, which means there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Breaking hands, hands not being wide enough, hands being too squished closed. So there are three problems that I want to tackle today. The first one is when a hand cannot actually hold a weapon. The second one is hands snapping. And the third one is hands that are way too closed for you to even fit a weapon in. I believe I have solutions to all three. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make sure your mega figures have hands to hold their weapons. So here I have a handful of figures that have issues. Well, this is not really figures. This is literally just a bag of hands that cannot hold anything. So we're going to be fixing some of those. This guy right here, you can see his weapon pops out of his hand way, way too easily way too easily like there it goes and then this is my custom-made hell diver and unfortunately he has a snapped hand sweet liberty my arm it hasn't come all the way apart but it's snapped and broken so we're gonna have to fix that so we're gonna start from the easiest problem which is fixing this sort of an issue right here so let's get a closer look at this hand so you can see there's some stress marks and I know a lot of people panic when they see those stress marks. Now the stress marks don't actually mean much. They just mean that the hand has been pushed a little beyond its original shape. That doesn't mean it's about to snap. It, I've had hands with stress marks last for a very long time. My uh, Versus Pack Arbiter has had stress marks in his hand since day one and I've popped weapons in and out for so long. So it doesn't always mean it'll break. However, there is a chance that what we're doing right here will force the hand out enough to snap. Again, don't worry we have a solution for that as well. But I wanna show you what's happening here. So it's just kind of sitting here. The hand just is not holding. It's just not holding. It's just not holding very much at all. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some super glue. I would highly recommend, actually no, I don't recommend. I. This is an order. Get the gel. If you get anything but the gel, this will not work. And then you need yourself a little safety pin. So what we're gonna do is we are going to get our safety pin, our figure, and our glue. We're gonna pop this open. Um, actually, this might not be an open one. Let me grab myself an open one. Here we go. Let's see if I can get anything out of here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little bit of super glue. Oh my word. I always do that on camera. Too much glue. Too much glue is not good. We just want a little tiny bit. And what we're gonna do is we are going to create a little line on each side of the fingers. You don't wanna to go too hard on this. We just want enough that basically the fingers are going to be clamped more inward. So we're gonna make sure that's layered on. You want it to be piled up a bit. And now we're gonna let it dry and check out what it does when we're done. Uh, I believe it's this one I'll show you this one's not fully broken but you can see there it is most certainly snapped so I'm actually gonna force that a little bit more open and what we're gonna do is we are going to take a specific type of glue now this method was shown to me by Pudis Burb over on the discords and this has been a huge help you're gonna want some Tamiya extra thin cement battle rifle I did not ask for you now, I want to give you a warning. I mean, this is, this says it right here. Flammable, the vapor is harmful. It's very, very watery. So it's gonna go everywhere if you're not careful. The fumes are not good and you really don't wanna get this on your skin. You especially don't wanna get it in your eyes. So please, if you are younger, please make sure you get a parent's help with this. If you are older, please just be careful with this because this, again, it's, it's serious stuff. So there's a handful of ways you can do this. Now, if the hand has snapped completely, you're going to want to put a layer on it 
and then fit the hand together. And then I usually will just squeeze it a little bit shut. Pudis showed me a method of you put the glue in and then you fit this, uh, fit a pole into the hand and then form it that way. I didn't have much luck with that because the hand always seemed to end up a bit too wide. So what we're gonna do right now is we are just going to take some of this. We're gonna make sure our hand is spread out enough that the crack is visible. We're going to get some of this. We're gonna paint in there. Now this is not like super glue, it's not really going to mound up. All right, and then we are going to squeeze it shut. And then I'm gonna hold it that way and we are going to let this dry for a bit. And in the meantime, I will take you to my third method of fixing hands. This last issue is the most difficult to deal with because essentially these hands were severely malformed in the factory and do not work anymore. We're gonna, we're gonna try and work on this one. Now this is a more dramatic of a issue than I have tested on before, but we're gonna give it a try. So you can see here, the hand's shape is such that you just cannot, you can't fit. It's just, it's just it doesn't fit. It simply does not fit. The hand is too small, and if you were to force it too much, it would break. So what we're gonna need is some alligator clips. This is just the base for it. You don't really need that right now, put that off to the side. And then we need an alligator clip like this. Now, they'll come, a lot of them come like this. If you get modeling ones, you can just remove the rubber things because this is going to get hot. So we're gonna clamp this. You do not want to do this in a figure's arm, okay? You do not want to do it in a figure's arm because you could soften the arm way too much. And then we're going to need a hair dryer and what we're essentially gonna do is, let me see, am I, am I as far out as I can go? Because I really need to show what's about to happen here. We are going to take this and we are going to pop this on high and just hit it for quite a long time, okay? So here we go. We want it to be as soft as possible. So let's see, how soft is it right now? No, nope, we're not there yet. This one needs to be hit for a long time. So we're just gonna keep the heat on it until it gets soft. Let's give it another test. All right, there's a little bit more give now. But not quite, not quite there yet. So I got the weapon to fit in the hand. Now, stress marks did appear, so there is a chance that this hand could end up breaking farther down the line, but also keep in mind that this is the absolute worst I've ever seen this issue. Like, this hand was so squashed shut. But now there's a hand that can actually hold things again, kind of, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep hitting it with the hairdryer for a little longer, because really what I want to happen is I want the hand to conform to the weapon hilt, so. I want the hand to be able to continually hold this and not just hold it once. So we're gonna keep hitting it for a little longer. All right, that should be good enough. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it cool down. I don't want to rush the cooling down. I want it to cool down slowly. Some of you might be worried about damaging your weapon. You know, if you're hitting it with a lot of heat, I don't think problems would happen. To be honest, the weapons are such sturdy little pieces of plastic that I think that the only way you'd melt it is if you put them in direct contact with the heating filaments. But if that does worry you, you can always use something like a simple bar, a Mega Constructs bar, not a Lego one, and go from there. So yeah, now this just needs to cool down and it will go join our other hands in the waiting process. So we've left these overnight, and now we're gonna test out to see how many of these things actually worked. So the first thing we are gonna test is this guy's hand. So we're just gonna go ahead, grab this battle rifle, pop that in there. Yeah, yeah, I think that did it. He now holds it. Now again, there is a chance that the hand could be forced wider open and could crack, but for now, he holds his, gun properly and that 
this really simple fix. All you need is some super glue gel and a pin like I showed. So yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Now we are going to test this one. This is a bit more iffy. So let's see, I think this has sat for long enough. Oh, look at that. That hand was completely snapped and now he can hold his gun again. Yes, yes. I'm actually really happy about that. I was so sad when his hand broke. Like his hand broke because I used a Call of Duty handle here that was too small. And so I put glue on it and I made it too big and then snapped the hand. So that bodes very well. I believe that fixed that. It feels nice and solid. It feels all good to go, honestly. Again, if it snaps a second time, you can always just redo the method. And then for this thing, ugh. Look at that, the hand is now wider. There are some quite pronounced stress marks, but it works. The hand actually works. And if it were to snap, now we could just use our glue technique and we'd be good to go. So I would say that is a success on all counts. That's pretty good, I would say. That is that is honestly best case scenario right there. And there you have it. Now, hopefully you will be able to tackle all of your hand problems without having to worry about your favorite mega figure having a permanently broken hand. Big thank you to Pudis Burb for letting me know about the cement to use on the hands. That's oh, such a lifesaver. So again, to recap the list of supplies you'll need, hair dryer, alligator clip, that's for hands that are shrunk, super glue gel, and a safety pin is for hands that won't hold things properly. And then the Tamiya extra thin cement and also a pin if you want to be able to finagle the, the cement a little bit more. So with those things, you'll be able to fix every problem you come across. And I wish you luck on keeping all of your mega hands in one piece. I'll see you guys next time.